I'm John Raines. I'm a country folk artist from Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. When I got up this morning, I shot a hole in my TV. I called you up, but I had nothing to say. If I don't set that bottle down right now, I could be late for my own funeral. So I rode off tomorrow. So uh, I got this album Evergreen coming out on uh, May 3rd of 2024. It's kind of a mix between songs that I've been compiling over the last two years. Um, some of the songs are more recent and some of the songs were written around two years ago. And I'm really happy to, to be finally putting it out. I, I think why I was so drawn to country, especially coming from a metal background, when I moved to Nova Scotia, I, I tried to start a band, but I never really found a group of people that clicked. You know, like we would jam a couple times, then you know everybody got busy and stuff. And it's, it's really hard to play metal like as a one-man act. You know, I started playing this acoustic guitar that I had a lot. Like I've always been into country. Like my group with my grandparents listening to. Like my my grandfather on my dad's side was the kind of guy that would have, have the the radio in his kitchen playing 24/7. So for me, it's kind of like a comforting sound. You know, it's kind of like a, I've always had a, a connection to it. I've always been one to romanticize when things are going wrong. I think the darkest time I had was when I wrote A Beautiful Tragedy. When I wrote that song, I was living in my truck after a series of unfortunate events and circumstances, and I remember being so broke that I was driving to my first show, being like, and my check fuel light was on, and I was like, oh man, if I can just make it to this one show and you know play this show and just to make enough money to, to get home by some buy some food, some more gas, and maybe some cigarettes, and get home and kind of keep trucking along, you know? And that, to me, like, as I was driving there, I kind of realized that that was like a low point. Like, hopefully things get better from here on out, you know? You get to a point where you think, you know, one day this is, even though this sucks right now, you know, one day this is gonna make a really cool story. And it's a good feeling to, to kind of come out the air send to something like that, you know? The Autumn Waltz is a song that was not about, but inspired by my grandfather on my mom's side. He he was 98 when he died, and he grew up in like a very big family, and a lot of his siblings died young, and he was constantly kind of suffering like like loss and pain, you know. And he found solace in music, in like radio and stuff. So he'd lay there in his cot under a tree and just listen to the radio for like weeks on end. You know what I mean? He kind of had this attitude of. Things might have gone down the shitter like worse than a lot of people can imagine, but it's still gonna be all right, you know? Like it's still gonna, everything's gonna be okay and we might as well make the best of it, right? The Autumn Waltz is meant to be a love song through the eyes of someone who's lived to be a hundred or around a century, you know? And kind of being able to be in, at the end of your life and like the winter of your years and you look back on your life and all the people that you've met that are no longer there and all the times that you've loved and lost and that's uh, that's always been a really powerful thought to me. Another December and the flames gone out. Then comes the spring. New life will sprout. I like to kind of keep in mind the experience and emotion part of it. You know what I mean? Like I want somebody to be kind of transported when they when they listen to a song. You know. Um, switching over to playing like acoustic. Uh, country folk music really helped with that, but um, also kind of learning the balance between writing songs for yourself and writing songs that are appealing to other people. And writing songs about events that have happened or like using that as a way to process things. Um, I, w I always kind of loved the idea of, you know, somebody being in a similar situation to one of the ones that I was in and listening to one of my songs and being like, man, like I've the fact that somebody else felt the way that I do right now makes me feel better, you know, like the same way that I felt, you know, when I was really going through the shit and I would listen to like Hank Williams songs and uh, like old Johnny Cash songs and like it was really comforting to know that somebody felt the same way at one time, you know, and you're like, what you're feeling is just a human experience. It's part of the, 
part of the ride, you know? It doesn't mean anything's wrong with you, it just means that you're, you're human, you're alive, right? Your heart's still beating.